and uh, enter uh, full screen. Okay, here I am back here. Okay, now, um, actually it makes me want to put up here and do trace route. So, I have some questions here about uh, IP, and let me just quickly go through those because we've done this more recently in the course. So you should remember, uh, I would think, most of this, actually. Um, I ask you um, about the 8-bit uh, the dotted quad notation for IP version 4. What is that? You know, uh, so you have four numbers, and, and, and what are those four numbers are each 8 bits, and that's pretty much all I'm looking for there. Here's one. Um, I asked you a question, and I don't know that I actually give you an answer on this one because I I want you to uh, figure it out on your own. Is what is the uh, what organization has this range of IP addresses right in here? So this is a, a range of IP addresses, a block. Uh, and um, I mean, I will tell you that uh, those IP addresses are for some place in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, and I'll also tell you it's, it's not UCA. Um, but uh, so I just put that on there to see if you could figure out how to find who has an IP address. And uh, it's possible to do that. It shouldn't take you too long to figure that out. Um, and then a couple of other questions about uh, public and private IP address, NAT, network address translation. What does that mean? That's also described in our videos. Um, uh, and um, so I go all the way down. I have 14 questions here. Let me just, uh, since I have solutions or close to solutions about these questions, let me just look at this trace route a bit because um, since we're dropping out here, uh, I want to see if I can trace the route between me here in Florida and uh, and UCA, which uh, you know, would, and to see if I can quickly, and I don't, and actually I don't think it'll work out. I think that there are nodes who won't, don't want me to know who they are uh, that I go through, but it'll be interesting just to look at this. So let me let me do it. Trace route. Let me pull up my network um, utility. Network utility on my laptop here. So we are here's my network utility. Here's trace route. Um, and let me look at uh, what I want to do now. U Central Asia dot org. Hope I spelled that right. I'm a terrible speller. And um, now what I'm going to, what Tracerat does is, um, and I think it's described um, in one of our recent videos. I think it might be the videos for this week. I, I don't think it was last week. I think it'd be the videos for this week describe what Tracerat does. And what it does is it, looks at all of the hops that my packets have to make going from me 
to University of Central Asia. And um, but like I said, I think some of these nodes don't want me to know who they are. Probably none of the nodes in Russia want me to know who they are. But let me let me try here. So I'll do trace. So it's automatically this is my home, my my private IP address for my laptop at home right here. And now this is probably uh, AT&T right here. And now there are several several other IP addresses for several other nodes in the Internet. And um, so so far it's gone down to look something like um, you know, 28, it's now working on you know, 11 here, 11 hops, 12. So 12 doesn't want me to know. They're not feeding back information. 13 doesn't want me to know. But if you go over here, it's telling me um, what the time is, the transmission time of the packet. So for example here, packet 10, wherever at node 10, the packet takes 29 milliseconds to go there. And um, which is uh, really a pretty long time if you think about it. And, um, and now we're getting down here. There are more nodes along the way, uh, which are not providing me any feedback information. And um, so uh, trace route is what I used last semester uh, with Mara when she was doing her online courses from University of Florida, and she wasn't able to view any of the course videos. And uh, the idiots in IT at University of Florida were saying it was because the internet was too bad at UCA. And I told them that isn't the problem at all. The problem is the packets have to make so many hops between the server in Gainesville, Florida and UCA and the, the time of transmission of the packets is so long, it makes it virtually impossible for the videos to be transmitted. Whereas if we do something like YouTube, YouTube has servers all over the world. So you're looking at YouTube videos or Netflix, you're looking at the video that's stored on a relatively nearby server so you don't run into any of these problems. But it was because University of Florida was trying to serve all their videos out of Gainesville, Florida, that Mara was having a problem. And uh, so the, the IT people there, they didn't really understand that. I mean, I had to beat them over the head with it. Um, so um, notice, by the way, I have, I have a question. I have a, sorry, can I? Ask yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, go ahead. I mean, you said about YouTube. Uh, so it means that, for example, we want to watch one video, and this video is in all of the hubs all over the world, or in one certain hub. No, it could be probably okay. it's. Uh, um, it could be in many, many, uh, many hubs all over the world. And uh, uh, particularly if it's uh, a widely watched video, um, a lot of the nodes might, uh, the, server, the servers operating at the nodes might not even be, for example, Netflix, but they may store it there because so many people are viewing it and it uh, means that they don't have to try to grab it then from Netflix they can keep it stored locally and send it out, something like that. So yes, the whole idea of what makes this work is that uh, many of these services will have all of their data stored in multiple locations. And uh, so uh, that's, uh, that's why we can look at a Netflix video 
when we couldn't look at a University of Florida video because everything at University of Florida was at one server in Florida. Now, uh, so I don't know, you know, it's hard to believe actually that, um, so I'm not quite sure what's happening in here, uh, to be perfectly honest, but um, uh, we could, uh, we can actually look at, we can grab this IP address right here. Let me copy it. And, th and then I could go, I hope I copied it. Let's see who is, and I put it in here. Uh, I thought I copied it, but I didn't trace her out. Uh, 104.44.23.80. 104.44.23.80. Surprised I remember all those numbers at my age. Who is? It's not telling me here who this is. It might, I th actually think it's Microsoft. Um, so it's, uh, so, oh, not having a good luck with my uh, network utility right now. Okay. So, know how to do these questions. Know how to do them. And, um, and please don't stop looking at these course videos either and the questions on the course videos. I'll s give you the, uh, the final exam at the after class uh, next week. And, you'll, and you give you some time to do it now. What I'm going to want you to do is after you answer all the questions, either have the answers in a Word file or write them on a piece of paper, and I want you to send me a PDF or a JPEG of your answers. Email them to me on my UCA email address, and then that way I can get your test answers, grade them, and then assign the grades. And uh, so that's what I'm going to want you to do uh, when, uh, so, but we have one more class next week. And uh, okay, so let me, uh, there we go. Okay, any questions here? I got the usual suspects here taking the class live. Uh, let's see, of uh, all of you there, I've, uh, one of you, uh, how many of you uh, have uh, had the virus? I was reading today in an email by the U.S. Embassy in um, Bishkek, Apparently, the hospitals in Kyrgyzstan are full. Uh, so basically, they're telling you not to get sick. So, and um, so I know some of you, somebody was telling me before class about having had the virus. Somebody told me several weeks ago. Um, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So Mike probably... Two of you, at least, have had this virus. Uh, anybody want to tell me if you've had the virus? I had the I virus. I think sir. those who study at UCA, they, they will not die of this coronavirus. 
You think so? Uh, yeah, I mean, you see. It is not that oh, bad. Oh, sir. Sorry. So, um, hey, uh, who, um, well, you know, there are still people there on campus, faculty, um, and uh, I think a, f a few of them are are actually going to be trying to leave campus. I think Lucy is going to be trying to leave, and go back to Australia sometime soon. Uh, hope she can get a flight out. Um, and Sohail Ashrafi, he's already gone back to Australia. Um, and um, there are just, uh, uh, I think, um, Samad and Musa are, they've left campus and they're elsewhere in the country. Um, and uh, so there aren't very many people left on campus now. And the ones that are left, some of them are probably going to be leaving. So it's going to be a pretty lonely place to be. It's getting pretty bad here in the United States. Um, and um, so I'm just you know, hiding out in a dark corner here and uh, trying to stay out of the way so I don't get sick. Um, so I'm assuming I'm going to survive until next week, so I'll be able to see you all in class. And uh, you people all take care. And um, uh, I'll see you again soon, unless there are any other questions. Any other questions? No, sir. OK. Hey, Manu. Um, yes. Yeah. I think the virus has to worry about you. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll get a one on one with yeah, the virus. That's right. Yeah, right. Uh, OK, I'll see you guys uh, next week uh, and be safe. Yeah, you too. God bless America. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, sir. Bye. Bye.